Butter jar equals tiny pie. It's not just a tiny pie. I don't understand. Okay. So, if you weren't here for this before, um, should we do a story so far? I don't think we got a new cutscene. This last time. I think we'll just start from current position. Okay, basically, let me give you a recap on the story. So we're Laura, we're Laura Croft. Laura Croft does fucking, I don't know, she investigates shit. So anyway, there's a dagger that gives people dragon powers. It was used by an old emperor in China, and he got really powerful. And then um, he got stabbed by the dagger where all his power was put into the dagger. And then they locked the dagger away in the Great Wall of China. So, Laura Croft, knowing that other people were looking for the dagger, went to the Great Wall of China and found out that the door only opens for the right person at the right time. And then she was like, who would that be? And then he was like, to the great Marco Bartoli. And then he drank some poison and died. And she was like, shit. But he had a laptop that happened to have a picture of Bartoli's hideout on it, conveniently. So she looked at the picture of the Bartoli's hideout in Venice and was like, I know where that is. And then she helicoptered there. So we went to Venice, we found Bartoli's hideout, and we're inside of Bartoli's hideout. And I have a theory that Bartoli is either a giant or built his house anticipating to become a dragon. So, um, yeah. Did we ever figure out why he drank poison? My guess is because he didn't want to give away more information than he had. You know, like, he was like... I spoke too much, like, I'm not gonna tell you, but then he also said Marco Bartoli. So I'm not sure what- Maybe he also, like, maybe it wasn't even- maybe he was- maybe he faked his death. Maybe he was like, to Marco Bartoli, and then he was like, I'm dead. That was poison, and like, it's a big bottle that says poison on it. She's like, oh, I guess he's dead. And then she walks away and gets the- and he's like, she fell into my trap. The good old fake my death to have my location on my laptop scheme. Which seems honestly probable for this kind of story, so anyway. You like it? Yeah, maybe he was afraid of what Bartoli would do to him for squealing. I think, yeah, I think it was like that. You know? But also he didn't need to squeal, so... Oh yeah, okay. Um, I'm wondering... So right now we're in Bartoli's hideout, and I've gone... Various places. And fought various enemies. But I have, like, no fucking health. I'm wondering if anyone I fought dropped a health pack that I just didn't notice. So I'm just gonna walk up to some dead bodies and see if I can find, uh... No. Hmm. Like, man, Lara's not going to torture you. I was like, wait, girl, the girls? The girl kills dogs, tigers, eagles, kids on skateboards? Never mind, she probably has her torture pliers in the holster we can't see. I mean... She, she does not care. She would, yeah, she would pretty much kill anyone, I think. Okay, yeah, I'm not seeing any fucking... This is where I walked through. through. I don't even think I can... Yeah, I, ooh, I don't think there's- I don't think there's, a uh, health packs for me. I think I just have to live like this. Dang it, Bobby! Um, okay. Oh, wrong way. Make my day. Don't tell me who's saying <laughs> I guess he just didn't want to be killed by Lara, but... I don't know why he wouldn't want that. That's, uh, that's one way to go. Oh, right, we got rats. 
All right. Here we go, pull the lever. All right, now we have this guy. I remember this guy. Um, I think we'll use the automatic pistols. Is there a dolphin in the library? That's some mice. That's just how mice- haven't you ever heard a mouse before? Silly. Uh oh. Oh my god, my health. Fuck. I'm so dead. Yep, I died. Okay. Shit. Does he also take 65,000 shots to kill? <laughs> Just curious, do you play PS1 games on original hardware? Most of them, this one, is not on original hardware. Um, because I bought it for PC, but then I couldn't run it on PC because I bought the Steam version. So I just decided I would go ahead and emulate. Um, but the rest of the time I've played on original hardware. I was trying to think, I was like, is there another time? No, the, only the Tomb Raider games are the only ones I've emulated. Um, gotcha, I was gonna see the picture on this is great. Yeah, it's probably a lot smoother than it would be if it was an emulator. Sometimes people don't remember how crunchy games used to look. And then when I'm streaming it, this happens less often than it used to. But I get people that would come in and be like, You know, you could emulate this with a- With the mod that makes it smooth. And another mod that changes the game. And the mod- and this, and then it would look like a game from today. Why aren't you doing that? I hate this. And I'm like- I'm playing on real hardware. I don't want to play on real hardware. But yeah, in this case, I'm playing on the emulator. I haven't added anything, though. This emulator looks a little more crisp. But, I, I, I do think that I will change to a retro tank at some point. And when I do, I think it will look slightly better. Do you think- mm, Okay, I'm gonna go automatic pistols. My memories and nostalgia always skewed a bit. Well, it also doesn't help that um these games look a lot a lot better on CRT TVs. Because they're made for the scan lines and stuff, so they didn't actually look as crunchy. Okay. Does he have a health pack? Oh, oh, I guess that- oh no, that's his hand. I thought that was- Um... Okay. It's fine. Hmm? No. Yeah, so it isn't just- it isn't just your memories make it look better. It actually did look a little better. <laughs> it used to look a little better. It's kind of comforting to know that. That you're not just, you know, remembering things way better than they were. I'm going to be honest, I ran through my earthbound cart through a S cart cable, uh, either retro tank or another upscale. And I had thought it was broken for a second because of how co the color looked. Most games did not pop like that. I was a bit surprised. Ooh. <sighs> Main issue with PS1's games is that the system doesn't have a Z buffer to adjust poly polygons to simulate, de simulate depth. That makes sense. It seems like it's less of a problem than this Tomb Raider I'm noticing. But in the previous one, yeah, I couldn't tell what platforms I could jump on and which ones I couldn't. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna slide down here. And, oh my god. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm legitimately, like, am I, did I forget? Like, ah, uh, where, where are you? Fuck. Oh, wait, BDX, man, I think I missed the prime. Oh, thank you for the prime sub, I appreciate it. Okay, um, okay, uh, okay, I don't know if this is even a good idea. I'm gonna go try something, though. Never mind. Okay. So I have. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Um. I must have like not picked up a health pack at some point, or maybe I just wasted health packs a bunch. I think I'm just gonna have to get a little more save happy. <laughs> oh, oops, wrong way. <laughs> Man, fuck. Why are there even mice, you know? Like, what? Like, this isn't a scary enemy. I do not care about the mice. Oh, man. It feels so slow to climb like that. I want to just jump. Okay, now this guy comes out. Um. Fuck. Okay, maybe I should save here. So I'm adding nothing by having to redo that spot. Um, okay. Ouch. Okay. Oh, fuck! Okay, that, that worked quite well for me. Okay, so, okay, perfect. All right, let's save here. I have slightly more health. The poor books. Pro moves, yeah, they got him with a good old circle around him strat. Henchmen never know what to do if you, if you, <laughs> if you walk behind them when they're trying to shoot you, but from the front, they have to very slowly turn around. Very difficult for them to do that. Wait, actually, I don't know if you're. Oh no, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's how to avoid guns. <laughs> All right. Now we just have this bit. Perfect. Getting safe, have you? must have learned that protecting when you're in SEAL Team 6 back in the day. Yep, that's me. That's definitely where I learned it. From when I was at- wait. I was trying to save. Okay, well, it's not a big deal. Good thing I saved after I killed that guy. Oh my god. That was scary. <laughs> it's really not what I wanted. <laughs> I wanted the opposite of what I just did, but it's okay. Here we go. The team of six seat. What? Oh, fuck. Okay, we're. Oh my god. This team of six seals that I was on. It was very nice. Okay, jump. Spin. Alright. Okay, this time I won't fuck this up. Come on. There. That's where the seal of approval comes from. <laughs> okay. 
No, I didn't train any seals. I was a seal. Oh! That was a close call. Okay. Save game. Perfect. Okay. Jeez. Okay. And then we can jump over to this little Paris. And then we jump over here. And that guy has a key to somewhere. I can't remember where the key is for. Oh, fuck off! Oh my god, are you serious? <sighs> Every time! Y'all ever notice how Poppy never claps and reveal her sealness? <laughs> Don't tell my secrets. Okay. Back it up. Run forward and jump. Perfect. Beautiful. Okay, same thing. I'm having a problem. I think my problem is I can't remember what button is the jump button. So I'm just kind of guessing. Um... Okay, I'm thinking automatic pistols is probably best. Okay, we'll do... Actually, we don't need it. We'll be fine. We'll... Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god, okay. Here we go. Uh. Oh my god, fuck. Did he drop a health kit? No, he dropped some ammo. I don't... Uh -huh. I don't need ammo! I need health! Uh -huh. Okay. There it is. Um, that is, what is this again? The detonator key, which is weird because I don't recall ever needing a, a detonator, but, you know, I guess it could happen to anyone. Alright, this is kind of a risky save, but we're gonna do it. <sighs> okay, so... Oh my god! There's no- there's no way. He shoots you way faster than you can do anything. Uh... Oh my god. Okay, um... Is there a way to, like... Maybe the shotgun will be better, I don't know. He shot through the floor.
this is I fucked up by saving there. I uh, I don't know. I might have to redo fucking Bartoli's hideout. Um, maybe there's like a different place. I don't think I can interact with this, but like, what if I can? Nope. Okay. Maybe that was the detonator. It doesn't seem like it. Okay. Um. Can you open the door and then shoot him from across the map? I can open the door, but he will always shoot me as soon as I open the door. Um, the other thing is, is even in the water, he can shoot me. So going across the map, I would probably still get shot to death. But I can try, but it's not really solving the problem of he instantly shoots me before I have a chance to do anything. Okay, so maybe I'll go... These pistols... Oh my god, I'm- I pray there's no one else. Please- YES! HEALTH! Oh my god, yes! Uh -huh. Oh my god! OHH! Holy fuck. Alright, the- the- across the way worked, Mel! It worked. Whew. Uh Okay. All right, so now I have a detonator key. I don't know where I'm supposed to take a detonator key. What is this lever for? Oh, it closes that door. Because I felt like closing it, I guess. Kind of weird. Uh. Hmm. Detonator key. Oh! Oh. Okay. Um, where the fuck is this? <laughs> There's a sweet little path here. <laughs> okay, I think this is just here. Okay, I think we're gonna go the other way. All right, other ladies. Where the fuck is this? What? What? I don't know. Wait, it looks like there's a- Oh! Oh! Wait a second. No, uh, wrong button. Fuck. Okay. Get up. Not oh, mice. Every fucking time with the mice. Okay. This is the detonator, I think. 
Why is this here? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, no, get up like normal! Okay, maybe the other side? I'm so confused right now. Uh, please. Okay. There we go. Alright, and then I guess I got it like... Oh. Who the fuck's shooting me? Oh! I broke a- okay, yeah, that makes sense. I still don't know who's shooting me. Oh cool, I like this because I can't actually hit who, who is ever shooting me, so... Um... I hope I saved after I got my health pack. I don't remember what I did. This is not- yeah, this is not gonna work for me. Well, don't be shy. You're gonna shoot me, finish the job. Nope. Oh, there it is. What the fuck? Why is this here? Be quiet, Pappy. Also, the instant photo of you with the detonator shelf. Everyone has them. <laughs> the detonator shelf outside your house. Hey, Lukachi. Yeah, in Tomb Raider 1. Lara raids, raids, raids some tombs. Right now, this is the tomb of Marco Bartoli. I mean, it's not his tomb yet, but I think it's gonna be. So, wait. I think yeah. I think we're gonna go this way. Now she fills tombs. Yeah. She creates the tombs and then raids them. <laughs> like, why do they have a detonator for their own house? This is so weird. Do you have a favorite pizza topping? Um, I guess artichoke hearts. I think I accidentally skipped the, like the cutscene of it exploding. Oh, that's where they are. They're up there. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. It's the perfect way to keep tombs going. Create tombs. Okay, what do I do about this fucking guy? Okay, he did pinch off quite a bit of health, but we're good. Alright. Make a tomb and raid it. Always in business, exactly. And then, you know, if you're raiding a place, turn it into a tomb to avoid criticism. I had to get a tomb. I'm an archaeologist. It was a tomb now.
Anyone here? Switch to regular pistols. That's for in case later. I can't see. Okay. Yeah, Laura's really good at parkour. It's a fact about her. Yeah, there we go. Tomb flippers? <laughs> okay. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, so it's... Well, that looks shitty. Um... What the fuck is the point of this? Okay, I guess I'll just save. Uh... Oh, I thought this would make me slide down. Okay. So what... What am I trying to do here? I'm so confused. Oh! Oh! Okay. I'm glad that I looked over there before I jumped down. Music starts again. We got two notes this time, guys. Wee all right, no more music for you. That's all you get. You have to earn music in this- Oh no! In this house. Where am I? Oh, that looks scary. Can I leave? Can I change my mind real quick? Okay, good. Not quite done. Not quite done, I thought I saw something. Interesting. I saved just then, right? <laughs> so the beautiful skyline and setting sun. Right. I need to remember that. Love. I love that. Wait, who? One ring goat. We should find a streamer named Tomb and then raid them. Now that is thinking big. Okay. What? Oh, okay. I think I was just looking at the razor wire over there and thinking that was something. Well, we gotta go down the dark pit first. The dark pit. Ooh, if there's anything I love as as a tomb raider, is it? Ooh, a nice dark pit. Yeah. That's a very funny way to <laughs> tend the level. I found no secrets that time. There's someone with a bit of a close name. Streaming Mario Kart. However, they don't speak English, so that could go badly. Yeah, that could go badly really fast. That could, that could go badly really fast. What the fuck? Okay. I thought it was just gonna throw me straight into a crate and kill me. That would have been brutal. Hi, off duty. Yes, we made some progress from Bartoli. Bartoli's hideout, Bartoli. About do I need what do I need? Zero to ten. The game is not hard enough. Isn't Bartoli a name of spaghetti sauce brand? I don't know. Could be. I don't remember spaghetti sauce so listen, I am too good to know spaghetti sauce brands. 
Okay, the three times I've ever made spaghetti, I made my own sauce. <laughs> That's right. I am fancy. I am a chef. Only three, three times is more than you could ever hope. Okay, three is lots of times. Three is more than two. Hmm? Cat litter and water does not count as sauce. You don't get to decide that. Okay. <laughs> okay, I give me two minutes, guys. I'm just gonna run to the washroom. I'll be super, super fast. Um. Actually, what if I leave it like this? And you get to enjoy the nice swinging. And I'll just mute really fast. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Thank you for waiting. All right, let's go. I 
guys for welcoming me back. I appreciate it. You guys like this song? There's a monkey inside. That little clap, that like knocking sound, I hear it. I think there's someone like walking. Yeah, there's someone right there. You see him? That's what you're hearing. Will she point it to the ground? No. Okay. This is interesting. Okay, I'm gonna try to jump to that platform there. I think it's too far, but... Nope! Okay, sweet. Oh, fuck. Come on, Lara. Oh my god. Do the tank controls- No, I'm pretty okay with the controls. I think, like, actually the controls, once you're used to them, are pretty fun, in my opinion. Um, I actually like the way they're controlled. Because, like, once you know how it controls, it's like- It's not too bad. Learning it is kind of annoying. But once you get it, like, it's pretty cool. At least for me. Ah, shit. Yeah, the only thing that's like annoying is when you're trying to line yourself up so you can press a switch. Uh -huh. That's that's the only thing that's frustrating is because that's like I have to be like standing in front of it perfectly. Okay, how much of a pain in the ass is it going to be to get back up? Is that a portrait of Bartoli? There he is, Bartoli. Actually, yeah, the picture looks old. How fucking old is Bartoli? Maybe he is doing magic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I know a lot of people really dislike tank controls, though, so I don't know how many people would hold the same opinion as me, but... I think that if you're patient enough to like learn them and, and get used to them, that it could be a lot of fun. I really gave up on RE4 because of tank controls, and I grew up on tank controls. What tank controls did you grow up on? On Resident Evil 4? Like for the GameCube? You gave up on the one with Leon Kennedy. Those controls you found to be bad? There's no way you would be okay with this then, I don't think. I grew up in an actual tank. Damn. What exactly are tank controls? They're controls that like- Oh, fuck. Aw, oh, shit. So, um, how do I explain it? Uh, the movement isn't the- isn't, like, you just move the character directly, if that makes sense, like, um, thank you, beer good. Controls- tank controls are control systems used whereby controls movement relative to the position of the player character rather than the perspective of the game cap. Thank you. Thank you. That is a very good way of explaining it. Like when Laura's to the side here, like this. Well, the camera moved, but I don't know how else. Yeah. Wait, what is even over here? Oh, fuck off. Oh my god. I'm reloading. <laughs> mm 
<laughs> this one games back in the day. For some reason, when I went to replay or play Resident Evil 4, I guess I've been so used to newer controls. Like going back to tank controls is annoying. I need to grow a pair, finish my playthrough of RE4. What other place? So there's this. And then, yeah, because Resident Evil 4, like. To me, the controls were not that bad. Um, they're a little weird, but like they're they're not that bad. But I think that like see that's a, that's the thing that's the hard thing when like people ask me questions about these older games, because like some people just don't have the patience to learn a old control system. Fuck. And that's fine. It is fine, but like... That's why sometimes I just recommend playing, you know, remakes or whatever rather than the original. Because then you're gonna load into it and be like, this is garbage and I hate it. <laughs> but yeah, I think RE4 was good. I mean, they are releasing the remake of it. So, I mean, you could also just wait for that. I don't know what... It's gonna be like compared to the original, but it's not always learning. Sometimes they're just bad. Hmm. I guess depending on the game, but like some would argue that the controls for Tomb Raider are bad, but I don't think they're actually just bad objectively. I think that you just have to learn them. They're old and weird. Or was not contr take controls. It's like... How would you describe those controls? If not tank. Oh my god. Is he... Did I get him? Yep. Okay. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm RE4 was, unless you use modern control in the remasters. Oh right, because there is a bunch of remasters for RE4 still, too. Fuck. A little weird. It was third person with no sidestepping. So what kind of controls would you call that? What makes them not tank controls? Okay. There's- what the fuck is- like, why did I even come over here? What the hell? They were bound to cam. That isn't- didn't it just say that the tank controls are bound to camera? Are you saying they weren't bound to cam? Oh, wait! Right here. Okay. Maybe it was over the shoulder third person. There we go. Over the shoulder third person. I honestly, honestly, I don't even know. I don't remember how it controlled, but it is a little different than how modern shooters and everything control. I think bound to character is tank. Bound to character. Oh, right, okay. Third person, the controls are still tank. Hold on, I think there's an easy way to figure this out. Is RE4 tank controls? As some may recall, the original Resident Evil 4 uses tank controls, which some gamers have difficulty with. Yep, it's tank controls. Alright, there we go.
Mm-hmm. Yeah, you could- I mean, you could Google it yourself. There's no reason for me to lie about it. But... Google says it's tank controls. Whether you personally think it's tank controls is whatever, but... It makes sense for people to think it's tank controls, given... The way that... It's described by the majority. Okay. <laughs> Wait, was that? Oh yeah, that was over here. Okay. Hi, Blank. What's up? Fuck! I didn't, uh, I didn't save after I hit the switch. Uh... Fuck. All right, there we go. Okay, fuck. God damn it. Okay, okay. This time I'll save after. Stupid fucking crate. Why is it? They just they just want me to suffer. They just want me to suffer. But yeah. Anyway, um, there's lots of people who dislike tank controls though. So, it's if you if you know if you dislike them or whatever. I'm not I'm not judging you. Um. Although I would say it's unfair, in some cases, to say that they're just bad objectively, or judge the game based off the fact that you don't like tank controls because it's old. It's kind of like going to like a, an old point and click game and being like, yeah, the point and click is bad. It looked really old and it was and it was not it, it wasn't fun for me to point and click on things. It's like that's just the format of the game. <laughs> <laughs> that just means you don't like this style of game. So, um, but if you don't like it, you can't get used to it. There's no shame in playing like a remaster or a remake. In my opinion. I got him! Woo! There we go. Personal toilet. Yeah, you could say that maybe something doesn't age well if it's not up to modern standard of controls or whatever. I think that's a fair, fair assessment. But other than that, yeah, I can see how they're they're kind of frustrating. <laughs> Yeah, I like Resident Evil 4, though. I'm trying to think, though. Sometimes GameCube games had fucking shit controls. <laughs> the, uh, the Sonic Adventure 2? The controls are mostly fine. But I remember the camera being, like, really weird sometimes. And there's, like, the recenter button was the, the, like, the right bumpers. Bumpers? Triggers? And... I remember, like, basically always having to press that constantly during the time that I played it. But... I don't remember if it was actually even bad. <gasps> this day, I can't believe I 100% and unlocked everything on RE4 with the GameCube with that controller. Oh, do you dislike the GameCube controller? The control? That was a close one. Woo! Okay. The difference of some tank control games like Tomb Raider mostly or RE4 is the camera. Is the camera locked to a direction the actor is facing? I mean, you, you, you can still say they're like different tank controls. Because like this, yeah, definitely doesn't control any, at all like RE4, but they're both just tank controls. Like, this isn't at all like, uh... Oh, no! Oh, wait, actually, wait. No, 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 no! Fuck! Okay. Okay! 
There we go. What is that sound? What is happening? I'm scared. Hi, tomato anus. <laughs> I like your username. It's very nice. I think one of my repressed <laughs> fears is the tigers in this game. Honestly, if it wasn't, then I would have been worried about you. Okay, I don't know what the- I don't know, uh... I'm scared about what the moaning sound is about. Oh my god, okay. Um, I think- okay. Um... Oh my god, the other side- there guys, he's just extra- yeah, he's extra- me when I'm ex oh fuck. Okay, well, it's okay, I just ran through some razor blades for a second, it, it's just- It's nothing. It's nothing. Okay. Um. Okay, I guess I could do like. All right, and that answers no questions, and all the questions all at once. Um. All right, and now I'm going to attempt the. Gr okay. That also works. Sometimes you just gotta actually run through the giant shards of glass or whatever. I'm scared! Who's sound- who- why? Nah, he's jumping on the bed with Luigi's desert tower. Ah, yes, that makes sense. Uh, okay, that's fine. I'll just I'm just gonna pop a flip flare. And oh, good! I no. need a key. I didn't find a key, did I? No. Right, the key. Oh, right, the key. Wait a minute. What am I doing? I went the wrong way. Oh no. Fuck. Okay, we need to go back. No. Reminds me of the razor blade room in my house. Just like, it's just like my childhood. <laughs> I miss those days. <laughs> no. Oh wait, she's British, isn't she? Oh yeah, I love watching you play Tomb Raider. I'm drunk, but it's my birthday. Oh, happy birthday! Hold on. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to your Nathan Pockets! Happy birthday to you! I went ahead of the song. Oops, happy birthday, bitch. I hope you're having a good day. Thanks for, for hanging out here. Woo, birthday! Okay, so that... That is where I need- that's probably where the uh, sound is coming from. Um, okay. Okay, so... Uh, okay, there we go. Oh my god, I'm getting- okay. Dude, what was he doing? Like, pull-ups? Like, I think- maybe he was just climbing over the crates over and over again. That's so weird. Uh -huh. Yeah. I guess he was just doing this. Ah. Nathan Pockets? You better watch the fuck out! B Ow! Bitch, ow, I hurt my hand. 
That's your threaten. What happens, happens. That's what you get. Oh, shit! Nice, you dropped a health pack. Whew. Okay. Uh -huh. Remember Room Raiders? Oh, yeah, there's a YouTube channel um, that has talked about that lately. Um, or makes videos about like 2000s reality shows. Uh, his username is, is, is Chris James. Okay. What is that? Is that supposed to be hidden? The little control box? It's a switch. I already hit it before. I just hit it again. Don't mind the large horizontal roof door on my roof. Yeah, everything here is built in a way that makes perfect sense. It is very real. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, because otherwise if I jump over there, I don't, I don't actually- yeah, I don't think there's any reason to. Okay. <sighs> Do a nice another little save moment. Make sure I actually save and don't load. That would suck! Okay. Okay, so then we need to go back through the room of razors and everything. Um. Oh fuck! Shit! Damn, how did they guess I was keeping treasure in my secret roof door when I told them I was an illegal treasure hunter? Damn kids are too smart these days. Damn kids. <laughs> My secret roof. Well, that was the key for the for the room. You know, you gotta have different switches that open doors to get keys to open a different door. It's classic architecture. Okay. And then step to the side. Okay. No! I tried to jump! No! Well, fucking goddamn it. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Um. There we go. Perfect. Yeah! Okay, and then you don't go through there because that is the room of razors. So you go back and you- oh. Go back. Perfect. Perfect! Yay, and now we can't hear some guy working out anymore. I'm gonna miss that. I'm gonna miss those days. Okay. See, it's kind of weird, because I don't really understand. Like, maybe I could, like... Um... Yeah, I'm not really sure how you're supposed to knock it- Oh! 
I was not get hit by the razors. That's what the end of my sentence was. <laughs> well, yeah, almost had it. Just about. Okay. I wonder, actually, hold on, I have a, a possible strat. Okay, so. No. It won't work. Or will it? No. Or will it? Like if I, if I, okay. That's not what I meant to do. That's also not what I meant to do. Okay, I don't think it's, I think it'll take longer if I try to do my strat. I, <laughs> I was gonna try to like grab the inside of the wall there and then I could like shimmy over above the razors. But I think I just gotta kind of walk through them. Yep, that will swing forever. That's where it lives. Everybody's favorite little... Little, uh... Little guy. Old Crady. He's a staple of this area. Okay. Nice, we're getting more than two seconds of music. Sweet, look at us, we're so spoiled. Okay. Like, I even- I touched it just like- It didn't even seem like I would have touched that. Okay, so I think what you do, what you're supposed to do, which still only makes half sense. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and save. Oh my god. <sighs> Wait, actually, I don't think that makes any sense. What I'm thinking I would do. Oh my god, fuck. Yeah, actually makes zero sense. My idea was to use the window to try to okay. Um that's fine. Um I think I could probably like jump it, maybe. I come at it like at an angle, you know? bad for Laura. I did- I managed to die at an angle, that's a thing. Okay, so this is my new plan. Okay. blood is here. Who else is trying to go through here?
Oh my god, this is so risky. Okay. All right, guys, this is how it's done. Oh my god. Nice! Woo! That is how to do it! You can just creep your way through. Can I ask a question about that? Sure. Might be a tip, but I don't know. It's okay, you can ask. There we go. I got it. Yeah, what the fuck is over what? Where the hell is this? Mm-hmm. I have a question now. Can you slow walk through? So can you just walk on those and they'll only stop you from jumping? No, before when I walked through them, they took a bunch of health. So this time by slow walking through them, I avoided all the razors. Okay. So, I mean, you could run through them if you want to, but it will take health. Because you're stepping on glass. <laughs> Here, actually. Now I wanna now I wanna make sure that I'm not just making that up. I'm pretty sure. There we go. For science. Yeah. Um, well, when I walked through it, I avoided all the glass. So. I was very, I was very meticulous about not touching any of the, the... The, the glass. <laughs> the slow walking- that's what I did the whole time. The- I was using the slow walk. When I went through that. Alright, let's see if I don't have to actually avoid the glass and I could have just slow walked and it wouldn't have mattered. Alright, so here's a big pile of uh, glass. And yeah, I didn't have to be that meticulous at all. I avoided all the razor blades and it did not matter. you just not allowed to run through it. Well, now I know that I can just waltz on through as long as I walk. Guess this isn't very sharp. The way that I did it was much cooler. There we go. Okay. <laughs> 